the Greenbrier Valley has such a rich history and we have such a great um, kind of group of cultural organizations, both arts organizations and history organizations. We have wonderful theaters and performance venues. And so we kind of have the infrastructure to really celebrate this in a grand way. We've had a lot of fun kind of working with Greenbrier Valley Theater on the Greenbrier Ghost and Greenbrier Martyr. Uh, we've gotten a chance to research the history behind the plays and the history behind the stories and we put together little panels for them. We are co-hosting a program with Greenbrier Valley Theater, West Virginians in Literature and History, and it should be a great event kind of exploring what it means to be a West Virginian, what stereotypes we embrace and what ones we face kind of outside of West Virginia. It's all about West Virginia's 150th birthday, so on uh, um, June 20th, 150 years ago, West Virginia became a state, and uh, you know it's pretty exciting to be part of the celebration and you know to really sort of uh, highlight as much you know, local, traditional arts and culture as part of the celebration as we can, given that that's you know what we do here at Carnegie Hall, and um, you know that it's a great time to kind of show off West Virginia's contribution to uh, you know the art and the culture that we really show off here in Lewisburg. So Carnegie Hall is hosting a couple of events during the sesquicentennial celebration, the square dance being one. Secondly, we are hosting a lecture series, um, part of our lecture series, Brown Bag Tuesday, featuring Bob Conte, and he's going to present on 100 years at the Greenbrier, which is a very important piece of Lewisburg's history. We are having a huge celebration on the lawn um, on June 20th, the birthday of West Virginia, and we are celebrating with birthday cake outside of historic Carnegie Hall. And it's great that the three organizations have come together to promote all of the wonderful things that go on um, weekly here in Lewisburg, especially with the historical focus of West Virginia.